I'm not his enemy. I'm his baby mama. I'm his. This is our commentary under the Fair Use Act. It is used for starting of discussions. Also used for entertainment purposes. Brush. Yes, a brush. <laughs> she said, I can't wait for you to drink some wine and talk about topics. I'm not drinking anymore. You guys, and y'all can quote me. And please write it down. Take a picture. I don't give up. Okay? Please hold me to this. I'm definitely not smoking. I'm so turned off by smoking. I can't even believe I was a smoker. Like, that's so disgusting to me. No offense. I'm not trying to shit on anybody. But I'm just saying, for me, I can't believe I did that to my body. But drinking, I'm not drinking anymore. I'm not drinking anymore. No, I'm not drinking anymore. Unless, uh-uh, I'm not. I'm going to take a big-ass break from drinking. Like, I'm not drinking for, like, I don't know. I want to say until, like, it's a special event or something. Like, I'll drink socially if I, like I said, if I go out to, like, a special event or if I. Do something big or whatever. But, like, just to buy a bottle of wine and drink it at the house. Mm-mm. 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 I'm not doing it. It's not good for my skin. It's not good for my body. Mm -mm. But I'm not trying to shit on anybody. And I'm not trying to be, like, boring. But I really want to be just sober. Like, I just want to be, like, straight edge. <laughs> I remember that in high school, y'all. Straight edge. No, like, I don't want to drink and I don't want to smoke. Like, I'm sober. I don't do nothing. And that's, like, weird as fuck. But it's, like, also, to me... I don't know. I'm just weird. I've always been weird like that. And I've always kind of like felt that way in the back of my mind. But I was like, whatever. Like, I'm going to drink. I'm going to smoke. I'm going to do what I want to do. And I've always also felt like I need to stop eating meat. I need to be vegan, vegetarian. I need to not eat meat. That's always been in the back of my mind. So I'm just going to like fulfill it because obviously if I can't shake those feelings and it's a part of me and I just need to be true to myself. So yeah. So yeah. Um, it is weird, y'all. It's weird and it's lame. We can be real. Um, but oh well. Like, I just feel like drinking doesn't serve me. Okay? Like, I don't know. It just doesn't do shit for me. Drinking. To me, it's like an escape. People drink to escape the realities. And it's like... I don't need to do that. Or I don't need to drink to have fun. I just want to be the, the bitch in the crowd that's like having fun off of nothing, you know? And, um, yeah. Mm hmm That's me. So, yeah. Yes, Jennifer, definitely. Mm-hmm. Jennifer, you vape? I didn't even know that, babe. Yes, you really do have to stop vaping. Look, now I'm going to be one of those annoying ass friends that tell you to stop doing something. Girl, let me tell you this. When you're not ready to stop doing what you're doing, anybody telling you, it's like, shut up. I'm going to do what I want to do until you don't want to do it no more. So I don't want to be that annoying ass friend, but I'm going to be that annoying ass friend because I love you, Jennifer. Don't vape. Vaping is worse. I'd rather you pick up a damn cigarette. Vaping is so bad. I feel like I didn't even vape that long. I probably vaped for like a good year. But like I feel like I suffer the repercussions now from the little vaping that I did do. I don't know. I 
I drink to have a sweet drink or wine. Okay, that's fine, Pisces. Like I said, I'm not trying to shit on nobody, y'all. Because if anything, I am queen of do what the fuck you want to do. And I don't judge people. It's just for me, I just don't want to do it. You know, the last couple times that I did drink... I mean, not recently, but I just had a period of my life where I drank because I was so fucking depressed. And then drinking after I was so fucking depressed, it was like, it would remind me of being depressed. And then it's like, why am I drinking? Like, what am I drinking for? You know, I'm like the type of person that I overthink and I analyze everything. So I'm like, what am I drinking for? Am I drinking to have a good time? Am I drinking to get away from something? Am I drinking to put my mind somewhere else? Am I drinking because I'm feeling... How am I... You know what I mean? So... Girl, mm -mm. it got to the point where, bitch, I was drinking and I was just like, like, I was just like not even having a good time. Because I'm like, bitch, why are you drinking? <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know. It's just a waste of time. In my eyes. Oh, thank you, girl. Thank you. I know I need to quit. I haven't smoked in four years, but this vape. I know. Those vapes are hella, hella fucking addictive. So I know. Trust me. Anyone take any natural herbal stuff that works for anxiety? No. I don't know anything that works for anxiety. I mean, of course, people are going to be like, oh, smoke weed or whatever. I don't do that. So I don't know about that. Um, and honestly, when I would smoke weed back in the day, if I ever did, that shit gave me more anxiety. <laughs> because I'm the type of person where it's like I overthink and I'm just like, why am I doing this? And it was the same if I, you know, when I ever smoked weed, if I ever did. So, mm -mm. Passion flower tea. Okay, people up in here know. Black seed oil. Okay. Yeah, chamomile. Okay, yeah. I know chamomile is relaxing. I have to get back on my teas. I really do. I haven't taken tea in a minute. She said, too bad he lost his respect for you. Um, look, I'm not going to talk too much about him. I don't even want to talk about him. All I'm going to say is he lost respect for himself. Okay? And that is sad. It's very sad. And I pray for him all the time. Because regardless of what we were, regardless of what we're not today, we have three kids together. Okay? And whatever demons he's fighting on the inside, I hope he gets through I'm it. his enemy. I'm his baby mama. I'm his, I'm not his enemy. I'm his baby mama. I'm his kid's mother. I don't hate him, and I wish him the best in everything he does. But um, you can't respect anybody if you don't respect yourself. Respecting yourself is number one. But yes, we did share a beautiful moment in time. We definitely did. When I watch those type of videos, I don't even feel nothing. I don't feel bad. I don't feel mad. I don't feel, I don't feel anything. You know, after everything that we've been through, I can still say that I have love for him and I wish him the best. You know what I mean? And that's honestly the truth. So, yeah. Ooh. I don't know how you hate somebody that you went through all that stuff with. I don't know how that works. You know, everybody is going through things at different parts, different times in their life. So, it is what it is, you know. Uh, ashwagandha is also good for anxiety, chronic stress. Okay, 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 okay. So, y'all got all... <laughs> y'all got all the tricks and everything. You feel me? How are you feeling mentally and physically, Liv? Um, physically, I'm great. Mentally, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Last night I woke up and I was like coughing and coughing and coughing. This cough or this sickness, whatever the hell this is, which thank God, 
nobody got sick. AJ has like a little bit of a runny nose. And Christian, I think, got sick a couple days ago for like a night. But then he woke up the next day and he was fine. Nobody like really got my sickness. Thank God. But whatever this cold, whatever this is, was awful. And it's like still trying to like hold on and not get the fuck up out of me. And it's annoying. And yesterday I woke up and I couldn't stop coughing. <sighs> yeah, I thought I was going to like die last night. <laughs> What'd she say? Okay, glazed honey bun. <laughs> Girl, you think I look like a glazed honey bun now? When I go in that sun and I put all that oil on top of me, girl, <laughs> that's what I be telling my kids. What do I say? I say a buttery biscuit. I don't know what I tell them. Because they already know. We go to the pool, go go and get in the water, have fun. Mama's going to sit here and I'm going to tan, okay? And I put all that nice. Oh, I love it because it feels so good and I love the sun. I love the sun. The sun and I, we like this, okay? You see this? You see this melanin, baby? Yeah, this comes from the sun, baby. I'm a sun child, period. Um, I don't want to talk about the baby because I just did a video where I update y'all on the baby. So I'm going to upload that video tomorrow, okay? Mm-hmm. Seek positivity in your life. Yes, definitely. But other than that, physically, I'm, I mean, mentally, I'm good. Mentally, I'm really good, actually. Like, I'm really, really happy, and I'm in a really good place. Like, and everything is going really good in my family. Like, with my stepdad and my mom, like, they're doing really good. My dad is doing good. Just my family in general is doing really good. So, it's a good feeling. Your words are powerful. Yes, honey. Period. Yeah. Um, okay, so my mom has a 1967 Ford Mustang, okay? My stepdad bought her that, like, years ago on Christmas. And he bought himself, like, an old Impala. So he's now getting the cars fixed up. And my mom's like, yeah, he's going to ship my um, her Mustang out here. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's cute. And I guess, like, he's getting a new truck in L.A. And, you know, everybody's getting new shit. And I'm just like, stepfather? Just like, can I get a new call, too, stepfather? I'm just like, no, I'm just like, I'm not going to ask him for shit. Because I swear, whenever I need something, that man always comes through. So... I'm not going to bug him right now, maybe later, but, um, no, I mean, I'm good. I have a car, but I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so jelly. You guys are like, you're getting your car all fixed up. My mom is big with the Mustang thing. Okay. Y'all will see the truck, the car when it comes out here. I'm so excited for her though. Cause she's going to be driving around her Mustang.